Uh, welcome at Electro Labs. Uh, today we have uh, Koen de Bruin, our visitor, who is uh, going to show us his um, RGB LED displays. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your uh, what you built? Because you yes. designed it all yourself. Yes, I designed it all myself. Uh, it's, uh, it's all based on the idea that I wanted to have a clock near my bed, which, which can show uh, uh, different colors in the, uh, during the day. So in the morning it's bright, uh, or orange and the evening uh, pleasant green okay. and uh, therefore I wanted to use a, a surface segment displays but there's one problem uh, problem the, the standard surface segment displays have only one color for each segment so the, the whole display is one color yeah, red or green red or green orange yellow white that's blue. about it blue maybe yeah that's about it and they also have 10 wires uh, on the back it makes it complicated to uh, to connect more of one uh, to each other and to the controller. Yeah. It's possible, but it's complicated. Searching on the internet, I found an, uh, an RGB uh, uh, seven segment. It looks nice, it gives nice colors. But the problem with this one is, uh, first of all, the price and a lot of pens. Yes, there's how many pens is there? It's about 20, 20, 25. 25, yeah. okay. So when you want to use four of these, in one grid, you have to connect 25 pens to each other and to the, the controller, and then you have to multiplex it. It gives you a very complex uh, print. Yes, PCB, you need a lot of pins on your microcontroller. Yeah, you have, yeah, yeah, right. So, uh, what did I do? I, uh, I thought in that period when I was thinking about this project, the new pixels were coming up. Yeah, the new pixels are these pixels you can see on these LED strips. And the nice thing of uh, every LED, you can control the color of every LED individually. Yes. With only it's a bit stream, 24 bits for each LED. Yes. And uh, only three pins. And that's the advantage of this one. This is the one I uh, I made. It's it's just an original uh, housing, and I created a PCB with uh, eight uh, neo pixels on it. Can you show it? And the new pixels are, yeah, are just connected to each other on the PCB and there's a 3 pin in and a 3 pin out, 5 volt, ground and the data. And the other side is the data out and it goes to the next one. And that makes it very usable yeah. because you have 60 million colors here with only 3 wires. So and you made some uh, demo systems to show us the colors because this is of course what interests us most, yeah. what does it <laughs> look like. Yeah, I understand. Of course, it's really important that you can see what, what the power is of the segments. And I created uh, for the Arduino users an Arduino shield with four digits on it. And uh, you can connect and, and some extra components, for instance, uh, a very precise clock, an infrared reader, and a temperature sensor. And here you have one on with the temperature sensor, and it gives the temperature here. Well, you can see it's quite warm in here. It's quite right? warm in here, but the nice feature of it is when you cool it down. Now it's blue. Now it's blue, and it are the same. Yeah, you don't have to replace the digits with another color. It's just the software is changing the color of the digits. Yes, and it's nice that from a distance you can see that the the temperature is below zero because it's blue. Yeah. And if it's red, then uh, it's probably too hot. Yes, I can show it uh, with the uh, meter. You can see it, the, the, the mark and the uh, color. Yeah, the color is changing. The color is changing between when, when it's below zero, it's getting blue and more bluer. <laughs> it's a little bit fading from blue and then it will become green. And yeah, you have to go higher to get red. Uh, yes, you will fade more slowly to red. Uh, but the software does it well, so you can also save on 20 degrees will be red. Yeah, yeah. you are free to choose the colors as yes. you like. Okay, you got some nice clocks with it. I like the designs, they're quite uh, Yeah, just, just, just to nice show the, the, yeah, how the, what, what the, the, the tickets also uh, uh, can do. I made some uh, demo uh, clocks. 
Yes, I think this is would be good for a big famous uh, Swedish uh, yeah. furniture. Oh, well, maybe I try shop. Yeah. And uh, yes, I, I think they they should sell it. I like the design. I would put this uh, next to my bed. Okay. And because I have bad eyesight, what I like is that I can set the color when I want to wake up. I want to cover it's, off. Yeah, that's uh, one of the possibilities. Chauffeur is not right in now, but you can program it like that. Yeah. Yes, well, I like it. I personally, I like seven segment displays. Uh, they have something extra. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But uh, as I said, I would be more than happy to put a clock like that next to my bed. Well, thank you very much, Kuhn, for showing uh, this to us. And uh, maybe soon uh, this will be in the Electro Magazine. Well, I hope so. Well, stay tuned.